How's it going guys? I wanted to take a few minutes to talk a little bit about the newer version of Johnson Controls CCT tool. Uh, this tool is one where uh, there are actually a, a couple of different versions within this one tool. Currently I'm running this at level 10.2. So when you first enter CCT and you have just basically the blank slate here, what you can do if you want to change the environment that you are currently in, you can simply go up to the settings tab and go down to the release mode. And here you can select the different environment that you want. I uh, currently run in 10.2. It seems to be the one that I run the most, but you can go to 10, uh, release 10.3. Uh, once you do that, you see you get this little pop-up window if you want to, to make sure that you want to do this. And once you press yes, it's going to go through a little dialog box here, make the changes for you. It'll take it just a minute or two, just depending on your computer and then make the adjustments for you to where uh, you are, are programming in 10.3. This is real handy when you are going back and forth between a couple of different revisions in controllers. Uh, for the most part, my preference as well as the preference from different techs that I've talked to, uh, the majority still use the 10.2 environment but you know there are some that will use the 10.3 environment. I know we still have some controllers out there that are uh, at 10.0 and even some that are older than that. Uh, now that I have gone into the 10.3 environment, I can go up here, I can actually view about tool, and now you can see that it shows me that I am in the 10.3 environment. And, uh, of course, if I open a project in 10.3, I'll just grab one here, and it gives me this little pop-up window. If I wanted to open it in 10.3 to upgrade it, or what I can do is I can revert back to the previous version of the software. You know, open for editing. There's just, you know, a few different options that I have here that I can use depending on what I want to do with this software. Okay, read only in 10.3, upgrade to 10.3. It just really depends on what I want to do. Okay, if I hit open for editing or just, you know, continue there, uh, it's changing the release mode of the version that I'm in. It's basically going through that same window reverting the software back to the previous version for you. Uh, if we give it just a minute here to populate, uh, you'll see a little more about what I'm saying. You can see here it's actually reverted here back to 10.2. Uh, the program hasn't populated yet. Uh, it will take a minute to get that. Uh, here we go, 10.2. We have reverted the software back to 10.2. Now if I go back and I view the information about the tool, you can see there we are back at 10.2. And the navigation for the newer tool is very similar to the previous versions. Uh, there are a couple of things that have been moved around. Uh, that sort of thing. I mean, you know, but for the most part is pretty it is pretty much the same uh, One example is your load button if you're going to uh, Upload or download a controller instead of having the big load button over here on the side You will actually go to the transfer tab here where you can either upload or download the file from your controller uh, of course this tool as I mentioned earlier it actually can run in a couple of different versions. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm running it in Windows or in 10.2, uh, the current version. Uh, it will go up to 10.3. It just really depends on the environment that you are wanting to use. Uh, and it's pretty standard, pretty straightforward stuff. You know, you can open a file. Everything is going to look very similar to how it did previously. If you are familiar with CCT. 
uh, and with the exception of just a couple of things being moved. The navigation, of course, all of this is virtually the same. Uh, there are a few new features that I uh, wanted to show you that I really do like. Uh, for example, under your connection tab, uh, in this version, you actually have a clickable link to where you can go to the next logic block. If you're looking at a particular bo block for some reason uh, and you're curious about a particular connection, you can then click that a hyperlink on that particular connection and it will take you to that logic block and then it will highlight that block up top to where you can go in and do whatever you need to do. If you need to view the logic, uh, make changes, that sort of thing. It just kind of helps the navigation of the tool to be just a little bit easier, uh, you know, and to get you where you need it to be pretty quickly. This is real handy when uh, if you got a lot of large programs you're trying to navigate your way through them it can make it quite useful but this is just a quick video that I wanted to do that uh, you know I wanted to uh, show you all uh, just some of the features on this and uh, you know if you're thinking about upgrading I will caution you on this and, and this goes not just for this version but for any version the controller configuration tool for the, a lot of your general blocks, as it changes over time, some of the features and things like that, if you upgrade a controller program uh, and you have a lot of custom blocks in there, you can affect the program as a whole. Uh, you know, I have seen a couple of instances where upgrading a file to a newer version of CCT can actually crash the controller. I've had it happen once or twice. It's not real common, but it does happen. What version of CCT do you guys currently use? Uh, let me hear from you down in the comments below. Uh, you know, uh, this is one that I'm finding myself use more often. Uh, yeah, I think that it's something that is very powerful. So, uh, but I'd still like to know what you guys use. Anyways, let me hear from you guys. Check out the links down in the description. Uh, if you like the videos, be sure to subscribe. Also, check out the Patreon page there if you want to help support the work that we do here. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.